Hello, welcome to my channel. This is the mirror of the truth. Um, this is my response to Abbas Lassel, or so if I like to call him the Don of Corruption, you know, from Don Caniona, the mafia, the mafia leader of that movie. I think you know it. Um, I don't uh, want to do his whole video because his whole video is extremely long and full with lies, actually. So let I begin. Let I first explain you how you can recognize. Um, Psychopathic, pathological liar. First, look in their eyes. Then, look to their actions. In contrast to popular belief, most sociopaths have been actually quite smooth talkers that can trick easily. Most people in believing their absurdities. Because they feel nothing, absolute nothing, and have no morals whatsoever. But they understand their toys very good. Abbas Lazel, the subject, have contact with the 50 sexy industry. He have said it in his video. Furthermore, he supports the cutting of wings of queen bees. He's not against this and he supports it. Second, he supports the raping of animal cows in concentration camp farmers. He don't deny that. Actually, he deny it now. Because it's not get uh, good in his work. Because he's a shizit. That's the theory. In denial also, the fact that his channel is only for one year online. And if proclaimed that you don't can have um, if people in China, even that is a lie, and also most likely he also go to deny it, where he is a psychopathic two-faced liar, and he make extremely long videos that most people don't watch completely, and therefore he think that he can go away with a lie. But you cannot fool anybody. If he is true, is an independent animal rights lawyer, then I also be an animal rights lawyer. I proclaim. If he wants to be a good, strong animal rights activist, read Tom Rayner's the cage of animal rights the, he is a um, philosopher and animal advocate um, the position we hold is after said to be extreme and the ones that hold it means to be extreme this uh, 
unspoken suggestions are um, that extreme positions cannot be right and that extremists must be wrong. But I've been an extremist when it comes to rape. I've been against it all the time. I've been an extremist when it comes to sexual abuse. I've been extremist against it all the time. I've been ext an extremist when it comes to being an extremist when it comes to abuse of the of children. I've been against it all the times. I've been like an extremist when it comes to abuse of the elderly. I've been the retard of the Kenmari. And for the all discrimination. I've been against it all the times. The same fact is, moral truth is of this extreme and must be for injustice. If the injustice is absolutely, then must be opposed. It. Be not an hypocrite. If he is truly an animal rights lawyer, then he is not a pretty good one. And not someone that you have to support. It's a very corrupt one. And then he is a politician. The one where Gary Orhovsky have uh, warned me for. Well, non-activist non politician that do having nothing, absolutely nothing for the animals, and only play their own little pathetic game, mind game, their own little narcissistic retard game. Humans be not the victims. First world little. Pranks. First world little. First world little. Apathetic. Trolls. Have to learn their lessons. Have to get the same. Exact same. Treatments. If the Nazis get. Some people don't want to change. And the, the thing that pacifists, extremely extremist pacifists, feel to realize that there being such thing as different ways of operation. And that not always one position can be right. If the pacifists support animal rights, the pacifist pacifists, then they also agree with the uh, standpoint of Martin Luther King Jr. when he say, when he was asked to stop Malcolm X radicalism. When he say that, when the hitman asked that, his answer was Pas Malcolm X stops where racism stops and replace any aggressive animal rights activist with Malcolm X. The animals need any voice. And the, real, and the reality is that most people don't want, are going to change if you use the pacifist way. 
And there being a lot of people that not want to change, no matter what. And that kind of people have to be treated like the victims. Like a furious pissy piss pit. That make fun of the suffering of innocent living beings. That deserve a, deserve a little bit of, their, of his own medicine. That being a little crybaby. Which he cries when he told that you have cancer to get attention. That is how he being. If you know a little bit about human psychology, you understand that. But you don't understand it. But you being a psychopath. And I have said that psychopaths understand humans very good. But they're being evil, narcissistic pracks. The dragon is out. The fires are breathing. Cop the fire up. And I'll see you next time. If you want to battle with me. I like to defeat you. You stand no chance again. There have been three for, for of denial. First. Hate is mad and ridicule. And people like always to make fun of things that they don't understand. Second, it's been violently opposed. Because people being too stupid to realize, to see what their actions are doing. And being too selfish and, and apathetic. To st uh, step a bit back. And... And lastly, and finally, being accepted as final. And people do not do if they have find out themselves. Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, not the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, not the tormented. Animal rights. Until animals are included in all discussions of equality, to hell with any two-legged oppressed creature who can't even realize the oppression they are actively taking part in every time they sit down to a meal or buy a pair of shoes. One struggle, one fight, animal liberation. Fuck human rights. The Israeli flag, for example, which is nothing more than a piece of fabric. The Bible, which is nothing more than a book comprised of ink and paper, actually stir up more emotions than the murder of animals. If there were a barbecue outside this building today and people were cooking up steaks and hamburgers, there'd be a party. People would actually celebrate the cow who was killed, the person who killed the cow, and the chef that seasoned her dead body. But if someone poured gasoline on the flag or the Bible, struck a match, set it on fire, Lord have mercy.